Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this. So I've mixed up um, a new version of this uh, dust boot for the 3040 CNC. So now I've got the 65 millimeter um, water-cooled spindle. This is an 800 watt water-cooled spindle. I tell you guys, this has been a fantastic spindle. However, I wanted some kind of situation where I could easily remove the dust boot or dust setup and um, use it without or use it with, depending upon what I was cutting. So I came across this particular one, and I'll have the corner up. Uh, I'll have it in the corner. I will have a picture of it up in the corner from Thingiverse, and the designer did a great job on this. But it was for a smaller 400 watt spindle. So I remixed this bracket, if you will, uh, to fit in the 800 watt, and I used some of my. Uh, if I get it in frame here magic nuts here to to cinch this with a number eight bolt so what happens this just slides on like this and then just cinches up just turn that and it tightens right up now uh, what you do is it's got several different pieces now i printed this particular piece and this is one of the pieces i want to talk about so it prints like this i'm gonna make sure i get it on the camera so it, i am and it prints without supports and it's kind of amazing but do you see this um Make sure I get it in here. I really didn't like that. Now, I could have probably played around with layer cooling and everything, but what I ended up doing, and I put this out on Thingiverse 2, is I just cut this and glued this piece um, rather than, you know, so both of them print straight up rather than trying to deal with all that. And uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. What I may do in the future is work up um, sort of some kind of skirt or something that it, it actually receives it or something. But for this, I just use some five minute epoxy glued it up and it's fine and what happens is this just slips in here and pops in now there's a little set screw and I probably use a set screw in the future but what it's designed for is a small vacuum hose sort of like the one I have over here but I think this one is, may, might be a little bit too large nope so this is from just a small shop vac it goes in there and holds in there so what I did is I actually uh, printed up this adapter piece because I've got um, an inch and a half uh, or an inch and a half or two inches I can't remember what this is ventilation system what happens this plugs in here now I'm gonna do up a receiver for this other end but for the short term this just pops right in there so I can pop it off and I just used an old um, smaller vacuum cleaner hose so this goes into my dust collection system up in the ceiling and then what happens is this just simply pops in here. Now I'm going to add a set screw in here to lock this in because I want to be able to change it because they do have uh, other fittings. The designer has other fittings for this. So this is one of them. It didn't quite come out uh, the way I wanted because it also has a scalloping but it sits in here too. So you can do different type of attachments. Uh, but the one thing is I try to get some side pictures. Okay, so I wanted to cut over and show you guys a side view of this. Notice how this comes in here right next to this and creates a vacuum around here. So I'm really interested to see. I think this will work actually pretty good. Um, you know, and again, you can just simply pop this out and then pop in another version if you want. And I think that's pretty cool that you can switch out the different pieces. I printed this in PLA. I'm going to probably in the future, this is a little snug, I'm going to see how this lasts. I think this would be fine actually in PLA, but if it doesn't, I'm going to think I'm going to do a PEG version. And yes, I like to call it PEG. It's kind of historical, uh, having been in the plastics business for a while and you call PET PET. So it just happens to have a G at the end. But anyways. I, I digress. So, uh, pretty happy with this. Now, I have this out on Thingiverse. So, if you have, um, uh, you know, an 800 watt spindle setup, I highly recommend it. Uh, also, if you don't, if you have another size, uh, you know, the 400 watt, I definitely uh, recommend the original um, version of this because, again, I, I'm really impressed with what the designer has done with this, and also the fact that printing this even without supports with the scalping. Now I did this on the tarantula. If I get this in here, yeah, I think you guys can see that. Um, so I did this on the tarantula and uh, it all came out pretty good with orange PLA. I like orange. It's sort of my channel, sort of my adopted Netherlands color attitude. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to share this with you guys because, uh, you know, I haven't 
had a chance to really put this to the test yet. Uh, but I'm pretty confident in it that's going to work because we're coming up on CNC season here. We're starting to head into autumn and winter, and that's when I do most of my CNC stuff down here in the basement, uh, getting trapped inside. So, um, again, just wanted to share this. So hopefully you found this interesting. I'll have the links to this below, too, to both the original as well as my remix version. Now, I didn't put all the adapter pieces in mine. There's no reason to. I only put the ones that I remixed and customized, like this one where I split it, and the uh, the band, this band for the 65mm uh, spindle and the magic nuts over on the other side to cinch it together. Uh, so I put those out there. In, in it so again I'll have the link to the uh, original so if you want the other adapters I think there's like two others you can go get them uh, and I highly recommend it so anyways hopefully you found this interesting if you did hey the swag shops up in the corner that way subscribe button over there comments below let me know what you think um, let me know what else maybe I should design for the 3040 that you're thinking about maybe you got a 3040 what would you like to see designed uh, in 3d printed and I can put it out on Thingiverse if it makes sense so Anyways, hit the thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.